What's going on guys? So, long night, long morning. Leaving uh, approximately 10 o'clock tonight. We're gonna head down to Biggs Rufus area um, and then fish through the night into the morning. We're gonna go for some walleye again. Heard there was a good bite there, so we're gonna go check it out. Um, throughout the night, this uh, um, today and tomorrow, I guess we'll uh, we'll cover kind of how we're trolling for them, what we're using, and some tactics. So we'll uh, we'll follow up with you guys then. fish. It is approximately 121 exactly. Put that in the books. That's what time we got here. So what we're doing is we're fishing. I'm plugging in my heater. My personal heater. Something just keeps me warm. Holds me at night. Write that down. Oh we're fishing by the way. Oh nice. Walleye fishing. <laughs> here with chrome diggers. Should be a great night. He always promises to fish within the first 15 minutes to me anyways. <laughs> It is like 137. Just got here. We're at Silo Park launching and we're gonna go out for some walleye. We're gonna be trolling some bandit plugs and going deep probably, but we'll fill you in as we go. Yeah, so you can't fish at night for walleye. In Oregon, the only ones you can't is like uh, salmon, steelhead, surgeon, trout, that sort of thing. But like bass, walleye, crappie, catfish, you can all target at night. Um, generally this time of year, the walleye will come up into the shallows pre-spawn. So they'll feed at night um, and you can catch them in the shallows with those big bandit plugs. So that is why we're out here. <laughs> straight back and then uh, Mike will pull the trail up and then we we'll pull the boat right back. All right, Mike, go ahead and back up. shallow water right now so I'll just make sure the prop isn't hitting the bottom. <laughs>
good at that. I'll tell you what, you get in here, I'll be alright. base here start deep and then uh, we'll just troll up and then we'll just keep working spot spot go up river yeah is there a reason why you're choosing deep before well, shallow we're just gonna check out the deep first you know last time when we were up river we marked a few up there so we'll do try that first and then we'll work into shallower water throughout the night <laughs> so we're out here, we're gonna be trolling these bandits. Um, the walleye deep, they dive, I don't know, roughly around 30 feet. Um, but we're gonna be targeting much deeper water, so we're gonna be adding lead to these and probably getting them down there anywhere from 80 feet to 60 feet. So yeah, we're gonna give that a go and hopefully these will uh, bring us some fish. Fish are thinking about me while I'm thinking about fish. Write that down. <laughs> yep, so we're running a bunch of different uh, places in the water column right now. So like this rod, we're running like two ounces of lead on there with that, that plug, which is putting us right about, I don't know, we're in that 45 to 50 range. We're 150 feet out. Um, this middle rod, we're running no lead. We're just running the plug itself at 195, which will get it to dive about 25 feet or so. So we're kind of marking the different places in the water column and see what's out there, see what, what, see what wants to bite. This little light on my heart is gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light on my heart, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Luke, I am your father. Yeah, we are. Did you reel that one in at all? <laughs> no. no that one's... I'm going to bring us up on a pretty shallow shelf. So what, what puts me at 34 feet? No wind? No weight? No. We've, you'll want to reel it in because you almost ha definitely have uh, weeds on there. Should I take the weight off? No. Just reel it in. I'll put you at like 27 feet. You're gonna to wanna to be 80 feet out. Okay. What's going on guys? So it's uh, 320. Um, checked out a little deeper water. We're actually moving in shallower now. We're coming up on a shelf. So we're gonna start working that 30 foot to 20 foot mark and see if we can find any up here. And bring the gear up a little higher too. So we'll, uh, hopefully they produce something. We're searching. Still on the grind, still on the grind. We're in a pretty rocky area, so lost the first lure, but you know, 
It is what it is. <laughs> You've got to lose some sometimes to find them. Yo guys, it's 6.52 in the morning, haven't caught any fish. Uh, kind of a bummer on that part. But you know what? We're having a blast trolling down river for the first time ever with plugs on this trip. It's gonna be pretty cool. We're going through a huge pile of fish right now and uh, I have a good feeling about this one. So we'll let you know when we start catching fish again. Awesome night fishing. Showed up probably about 10 30, 11 30. I don't remember what time it was. Actually, it was 12 30. 121 exactly. Put that in the books. We got here pretty late. Uh, fished until 10, 10 o'clock this morning. Loved it. Every second of it. Didn't get a lot of fish, but we got enough fish to keep us happy for the day and definitely had a blast doing it. We learned a little bit about fishing upriver and fishing downriver with the plugs and speeds and everything like that. It made a big difference once the sun came up that the fish were more apt to bite the plugs and, and get on it. A lot of fun. What's going on guys? So long night, long morning, got two fish. Um, bite was definitely once the sun came up. Um, fortunately, 
we're limited on time today so we're leaving we gotta leave early but uh i mean it was still a lot learned but all in all no another good night walleye fishing so try to get some sleep and uh we'll hit you on the next one